Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I hope you guys are excited. We are wrapping up catch up week finally catch up week i keep laughing at that we are wrapping up catch up week right now today is the last day of catch up week and then we go back to my normal scheduled post days which will typically be either like sunday monday wednesday thursday one of those two date fluctuations will be my typical upload schedule i'll either do it at the very beginning and then midway through the week so you guys can check my content out there that's not what we're here for we are here to talk about my trash it and cash it i have a small amount of empties in front of me i have a couple hair skin nail and then the majority is makeup today which is very exciting it's not always the majority being makeup and today is definitely the majority is makeup which i'm always excited about and I have a couple purchases that I ended up making. I actually have this guy here of items that have come into my collection over the past month. And I do want to just give a small announcement that I am no longer an Ulta employee. As of July, as of like mid-June, I actually decided to leave that position. So I am no longer an Ulta employee, but there are things in my collection that I have gotten for free through gratis through being an employee. Or as you saw that collective haul, I had a lot of freebies come into my life. My boss at the time had gone to um, what was called the Fear Leader Conference. She got a lot of products, dispersed them. So I have a lot of free stuff that's in my collection, but Everything this month, I believe, I actually purchased myself using my discount. Um, I do have one more like month that I'll have my coupon code for my Ulta employee discount. So I am probably going to make a large Ulta purchase sometime in July. So if you're interested in a, another Ulta haul, stay tuned for that. But I am going to just talk about my empties and purchases that I made over the course of the month. And... I always save the best, which is purchases, for last. So we're going to talk about all of my empties that are just kind of like strewn across my table right now. So we're going to talk about hair care products first. I only have a couple things to talk about. First thing was something that I got through gratis for free, and that is this guy here. This is the IGK Direct Flight Multitasking Matcha Dry Shampoo. It felt like there was something left. I don't think there was. It just smells nice, but... This didn't do much for my hair personally. I think that if you have maybe more fine and less thick hair, you might like this. But I have very thick, very coarse, very dense hair. So I didn't like this dry shampoo. I need something that's actually going to do something on the scalp. This just did nothing. Something I liked, but I don't know if it's worth the price. This guy is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. This really was a nice volumizing texture spray, but I want to say when I bought this, it was like $38, and I know over the course of the time that I was at Ulta, the prices for Bumble and Bumble really increased a lot. So I don't know if this is something that I would repurchase, especially not with uh, no discount. I think next time I purchase a dry, like a texture spray like that, because I do like texture sprays, but the next time I'm purchasing one, I'm going to be looking more for cost per ounce or like cost per milliliter versus like a name brand just because I feel like they all do the same thing-ish, you know? We have like skin, perfume, nails that I'll just kind of talk about quickly. First thing, this guy here just didn't work out for me and I gave it a good, 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 good try. So I ended up using it in a project from up here to down past the, that black line at this point. Um, I just don't like it. It just doesn't work for my skin. It breaks me out. I used it a good chunk of it clearly, so I am counting this towards my monetary value of my empties versus just like a declutter. But this just breaks me out. Whenever I use it too many days in a row, it breaks me out. And I know that I talked to someone at work and old work and she said don't put this on every day because you will see that but I just don't want to have something where I can only use it once a week or something it just doesn't work in like my routine so moving to another project that was in a project this guy here this was my Terry Mueller alien eau de parfum I had mine in the one ounce size the one ounce on this packaging is so bulky and beautiful like I just this looks 
like something from like an alien time capsule to me. So spot on with the packaging. Um, I did get the refillable version of it, but I don't know if I will, I like the scent enough to buy a refill for it, but I can see myself maybe keeping the packaging and like putting something else in it, but I don't know. It was a very powdery scent. I finished a couple nail polishes over the past couple. <laughs> it took me a long time to finish these if I'm being very honest, but, um, over the past month, I decided that these just no longer will give me an application. So I'm cool just being done with them. First one is the newest one. This guy here, this was a model one. It was like an Amazon brand. This was just a, which one is this? Oh, this was like a very translucent pink color. Not enough to give me an application. These two were very, very old also. These I bought from Hot Look so unbelievably long ago and these were like a little gel nail set they had like a gel and a nail polish so you could do like gel on your fingers regular polish on the toes um i bought a couple neutral colors when i saw them this one was a gray shade that just doesn't have enough product left this was called uh clay pot yeah that was clay pot and then this guy here was sly as a phlox this was another just like there's literally no product left in this so i'm going to be hosting a like unfortunately a united states only giveaway right now just it's all i can feasibly do at this time just as a thank you for kind of catching up with me over the past week and a half at this point as a thank you for just sticking around my channel and as a thank you because I've gotten a lot of stuff in my life in my collection that I have no business and have no I only have so much real estate to use and there's a lot of things that won't work for me so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for just sticking through my channel the ebbs and flows all that kind of stuff would love to know your favorite summertime activity that you've been just enjoying over the course of the past couple months let me know any good thing that has happened in your life over the past couple months and um, that is how you can enter into this giveaway of course you do need to be subscribed to my channel here as well as my instagram all that information's in the down description box but um if you are subscribed here and on instagram and leave me that comment of your favorite summertime activity as well as your favorite like something good that's happened in your life over the past couple months um that is how you enter to win the giveaway and a week after this is posted the date will be on the screen at the time or for when you need to enter to reserve a spot in this giveaway but we're gonna jump back to my regular schedule footage now um i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for sticking through my ebbs and flows of the channel with me then makeup so the next product i meant to talk about in my last empties but i don't remember if i did this guy here which is super super mangled up bandit got a hold of this um during like the heat of his recovery in his surgery phase um so he was just a bored puppy and got a hold of this Ulta lip oil and ate it. So <laughs> I think Bandit got some enjoyment out of this, but he never chews on things. It was just like a freak thing from him being so bored out of his mind from his first surgery recovery. I had finished more than half of it. So again, I'm going to count this one towards my monetary values of my empties. Another kind of boring one to talk about is this guy here. I finished one of these last year at some point. This was a lip scrub by flower beauty this was the petal pout lip scrub i didn't like this it had just a really weird scent like sometimes it was good sometimes it just wasn't good it like really depended on like my mood if i liked it or not vaguely reminiscent of peach but also like floral it was weird it was very weird this was a very very like waxy emollient kind of lip scrub and I like really much more gritty and like sugar scrub kind of lip scrub so if you don't like that more textured scrub and you like a softer lip scrub maybe you have super like dry lips and like everything hurts them this may be a good one for you but I just want to get the job done quick and be done you know another boring one this guy here this was the Ulta Beauty Twisted Volume Mascara I I meant to buy the blackest black. I ended up buying soft black. This guy is kind of cool because the wand changes. Like you can spin this little thing and the wand will change. I don't know if I'll be able to do it without this twisty, curvy kind of wand. Very interesting concept. 
I actually really quite liked the formula of this. It will not dethrone my Holy Grail Ride or Die um, mascaras. I really like the Tarte Tubing Mascara, and I'm currently wearing the Hourglass. Let me pull it out. I'm currently wearing the Hourglass Unlocked. This is another like fiber mascara. So I think the general consensus is I'm a stand for fiber mascaras. Some stuff you saw in Project Pans, this guy here. I love this. I don't think I'll, I will repurchase this personally because I just want to try more that's out there. But this is the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. This has one of the nicest misters I have ever, ever. Another thing in a project pan, this was a really exciting one and I'm finally able to count the whole thing in my value now. This was the Hourglass, what is this? The Ambient Lighting Volume 1 palette. I have been diligently working on all of these shades throughout the past couple years, but this year in general, I really was focusing on just panning this palette completely and I did it. Look at all that. Take a moment. Appreciate it. This was all technically setting shades. One really was perfect. One was too pink. One was too orange. So I kind of had to like mix all of them together. I also ended up finishing this guy here. This is my NYX Plump Right Back Serum Plus Primer. <laughs> this was an electrolyte um, primer. It says it's a plumping primer. I don't think it did anything like that. I don't even know if it really had anything with serum in it. It was a very lightly tacky primer. It did hold my products down pretty nicely, but I'm not using a liquid foundation or anything like that. So grain of salt. I don't know. I, I wouldn't repurchase this personally. I have a couple pencil products to talk about and I'm very excited. We all know pencil products take forever. First one is this guy here. This is the Kylie lip pencil in the shade Bear. I actually ended up getting this as a gift with purchase when I purchased this palette and like a couple other things back many years ago and she's done. It has like the little white plastic thing poking out but I am super super happy that this thing is empty and I finished this up. I'm very very excited about this. Then the other eye products I have are actually eye pencil products and I'm even more excited about these than I was about the lip liner because I feel like these took a lot longer and a lot more dedication to use up. First pencil I want to share is this guy here. Look at that neon green color. I ended up finishing this guy here. This was the LA Girl Shockwave Liners and this was in the shade Gotcha. This was definitely the worst performing shade in the line that I have personally tried. Very, very, um, like sheer of a green. So how I ended up using this guy was I would color it all over my lids as a eyeliner or like an eye base. I would tap my glitter glue on top of it to kind of smooth out the formula a bit from being like an eyeliner um, consistency. And then I would put whatever shade on top of it and it made an incredible eye base. I really, really enjoyed this. And this is the first, like this turned me into using eyeliners as an eye base and falling in love with that. Something I wasn't expecting to finish uh, when I did this. This is the Essence Extreme Wear Lasting, Extreme Lasting Long Wear Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. I've had mine for years, years and years. And like, honestly, it seems like there would be a lot more product left in this, but that little plastic thing is in the middle. That has left kind of a void because I have been using this as my daily waterline color day in and day out and day in and day out for like the, literally the past six months. So I'm kind of like, well, what do I use now? And those are all of my empties for the month. So now we can talk about my purchases now. Very excited to talk about my purchases. First thing I should have talked about in my massive haul, but this guy here, I just wanna go toss the box out because this has been sitting in my office for a couple months now. I wanted to make sure I wanted to keep this rather than return it. This is a triple barrel waiver. You will see that beach waiver in action. My next video is going to be my July update for my year long project pan. And I use that in my hair, very, very like bohemian style kind of hair. Really enjoy that. Really actually really enjoy that product. Now all of my purchases. So there's that. First thing is first. I always start with the boring leave the most exciting for last. Um, 
I ended up purchasing this guy here. This is the Tree Hut Ocean Glow Sparkling Gel Wash. I bought this one because I'm not a fan of the the one that everyone loves, like the tropical glow. I don't like that smell. This I like. This one is incredible. This one I haven't even opened, but it's so scented through even like the vac seal that they put on it. It smells incredible. It's so pretty. It actually is like blue sparkly. I haven't used it. I'm excited. I'm very excited to use this. I can't wait to put that in the shower once my big old bar soap is gone. I am so close to being done with my Olaplex number nine serum. So I wanted to re-up on it before I did not have a discount on it anymore. I love this product. I didn't think I could love a hair care product until this came into my life. And this makes my hair feel so unbelievably soft. I use it once a week. I wash my hair once a week. I use it on my hair wash days. Um, I didn't use it this time just because I I was afraid I was overusing my Olaplex, but I can tell a difference in how my hair feels today versus how it's been feeling. Lack of a better word, it doesn't feel like straw, but it's definitely like that dry where you can feel like it tangles really easily when it it is a little drier. At least for me, my hair tangles really easily when it's dry. Everything else is makeup, so we know everything else is exciting. I just don't know what to talk about next. And maybe this guy, because I probably shouldn't have bought this. I really, really try not to buy cruelty-free makeup products. I try not to purchase them. But I was so unbelievably curious about these and I ended up just buying it. And shame on me, this is the NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. I have been wanting to dabble in to like under eye color correctors and see if maybe that's a route I wanna go more than concealers anymore. Just too many cream things I feel like anymore and I don't need a whole lot. I like really don't put much foundation on my face. I have like very lightly spot concealed the areas that I really feel like I need to. So really the only area that I need a little extra coverage are my under eyes because they just are so pronounced. Then next least exciting thing I bought, which I actually was quite excited about this and I don't know why I was so excited about this, but the novelty is just so neat to me. I ended up buying this guy here. This is the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump shift thing. I have mine in the scent, scent, the scent, the scent, the flavor, the look, kiwi. Doesn't smell like kiwi at all. Smells like coconut oil. All their products are like coconut oil infused. But this guy here is the kiwi one. This is just a clear, they say it's like a, it changes and adapts to your personal like pH. It's just one of those ones that like changes colors based on like the pH levels of you. So the rest is eye products and I'm I love eye products, so I'm super excited to talk about this. Super excited to talk about this. So I ended up buying another one of the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paints. This is the first one of the matte fluid eye paints that I have purchased myself. I've used this one once so far, just so I could kind of cocktail my existing colors. Um, I took it out of the packaging because it fits perfectly. When it had the packaging on it, it did not fit, but without the packaging, it fits like a glove. My first fractal eye paint from About Face. This is in the shade Tin Can Alley. I ended up taking a video for my friend Jamie. They're into panning on Instagram and they've been very curious about these About Face fractal eye paints. So I sent them a video of like all of them swatched out and I told Jamie, this is definitely like Tin Pan Alley is the best shade in my opinion. And of course, when I was making one of my final purchases, I went, okay, well, I need this. Shades, I would say it's similar to White Gold by JD Glow. I really, really, really enjoy the About Face fluid eye paints. Then I also grabbed a couple eyeliners. I know I just hemmed and hawed about being out of a neutral eyeliner, only to have another neutral eyeliner in my collection now. So I ended up getting I had so many more of these in my cart and ended up taking two or three of them out of my cart and went, you only need a couple. These are the Epic Wear Liner Sticks by NYX. I got rose gold and 
all time olive so rose gold all time olive that is rose gold absolutely gorgeous 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 shade then all time olive i wanted to get these to use with the yucca palette we saw the rose gold and i believe you guys have already seen this product in my no pan left behind you would have seen that this came into my collection I ended up purchasing the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. So I ended up buying this guy here. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I don't know if it's necessarily my dream of a palette. And I will say online versus in person. I do think there are more differences in person than online. Um, namely, the things online that I thought, like, man, this shade is so interesting to me because I'm looking in the monitor and it is very purple. But as soon as I look at it this way, it is unbelievably green, like, green purple green purple <laughs> but this is pretty i don't know if it's like my dream but i think this is going to be really pretty in autumn i think like this is very anastasia beverly hills soft glam to me soft glam meets like jackie Ina. that's kind of what i get from this palette some of those deeper rich tones i'm like staring at it in the monitor i'm so sorry so in the grand scheme of buying versus using up products, I definitely had a better usage and like empties month than I did purchase month this month. So that is it for my trash it and cash it for the month or like the last two weeks of June. Um, very embarrassing that we brought a bunch of stuff in and now have more stuff to bring in. And I am really... <sighs> I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to be making more purchases over the course of the month, so I'm going to be embarrassing myself and bringing way too many things into my life that I have no business bringing in. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know any items that have come into your collection. I'm excited and happy that I'm getting use out of the things that cost a lot of money. I'm happy to discover a whole lot of new things that I truly love and truly enjoy. So I would love to know if there are any new products that have caught your eye recently that maybe you don't want to spend the money on, but you want someone that has a discount still to spend some money on. Let your girl know in the comments below so I can make some purchases based on your suggestions. That is it for this Trash It and Cash It for <laughs> the last two weeks of June, as I mentioned. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe. Hopefully your spending is a lot more in check than mine has been over the course of the month or two um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are staying healthy sane and safe and i'll catch you in the next video bye